Welcome to the Gentleman's Guide to Gaming and another on the move video. I'm quite enjoying these. Uh, it gets me out of the house. A bit of fresh air, never a bad thing. A bit of sunshine, better than the cabin fever of working from home all the time. This video is linked somewhat to the actual play of Wraith the Oblivion that's currently on the Onyx Path channel. If you've not checked it out and you're interested in Wraith, by the way, I do recommend it. The first two episodes that are up as of time of this recording are a pretty good introduction to how to build character background as mortals before Wraithdom. What we're doing, essentially, through a very discreet method, is building up passions and fetters through roleplay so that when the character creation happens with a character sheet, point allocation and so on, you will get to be able to identify why this passion is so important to this wraith, why this fetter is so important. It will give us motivation when the group comes together, when the circle of wraiths forms. But that aside, I've got a couple of questions for you. One is a general one, and it relates to the world of darkness, because obviously Onyx Path and the world of darkness are inextricably linked. We published all of the 20th anniversary products. We are publishing V5 products, too. And this is such a simple question, but it's one I always love to hear the answers to, because they vary wildly. And it is which world of darkness game really sings to you, speaks to you, resonates with you. Because for me surprising some people, the answer has always been Wraith the Oblivion, even more so than Vampire the Masquerade. My go-to World of Darkness game has always been Wraith. It's the one that has spoken to me on the most fundamental level. Maybe it's uh, just its very sensitive, intelligent way of dealing with a matter that all humans have to face at some point, being death. I think it's something that, looking back through my youth and having to be faced, as many people have, with the deaths of relatives and friends quite frequently over a uh, formative period, I very much found that Wraith the Oblivion was something that scratched an itch that I probably wasn't even aware of. It's got a very fundamental core to it. And so Wraith the Oblivion is the kind of game I love to explore as a storyteller and as a player. It's the kind of thing that allows you to present issues in a mature and interesting way, in a way that you often can't in games where resurrection, for instance, is almost a day-by-day -day thing. So Wraith the Oblivion is my answer, but I'm interested in hearing yours. Which World of Darkness game is your World of Darkness game, and why is that? I'm interested especially if anyone wants to say Mummy the Resurrection, Hunter the Reckoning, Demon the Fallen. And there's a second part to this question about 20th anniversaries. Hypothetically speaking, if we were to do a 20th anniversary edition for any of those three aforementioned games, which, well, what would you be doing with it to make it stand out? How would you build a game like that up to be a 20th anniversary edition? What kind of input would you make on it? if you had creative control over Hunter 20, Demon 20, or Mummy 20, would it be more of a compilation anniversary edition like V20? Or would it try and further things a little like Wraith and Changeling 20 have, expanding the setting as well as celebrating it? Where would you go with 20th anniversary editions of these games? Finally, my final of three questions is, much as with when I was doing my Scion uh, Noir series, which is going to pick up again soon, thankfully, I do enjoy getting viewer feedback. And so, if you're watching Wraith 20, the actual play, on this channel, I want your ideas. What kind of encounters are characters likely to find in Necropolis Berlin, circa 1988. What are going to be the standout features? What architecture? What characters? What is going to be fascinating about the underworld of Berlin in the late 1980s? What divisions might there exist in the hierarchy? What do heretics aim for? Who do renegades fight for? That kind of thing. I would be very interested in hearing your thoughts. 
thank you very much for watching and i look forward to reading your comments.